We got a new view today. Bought a different mount so we could put the GoPro back there. Before we only had like the perspective. Now I've got it clamped to the passenger console. We'll see what that kind of view gives us. It is one week after my last video. The weather is beautiful. I'm gonna take my hoodie off before we even start fishing. And we are gonna go have a rocking day. The water's low, but I think we're still gonna be able to whack them. I got confidence. So we'll go try a couple different things. Hopefully dial one thing in. Maybe catch a couple big ones today too. GoPro capture. I don't know what I've got, but it is big. the rod doing that right there that means one thing big old slimy toothy one he's got it in his face too i hope he doesn't bite me off oh noah noah this one's for you covered in leeches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I see at least eight leeches on this one side of this guy. You're definitely gonna have to retie after that one, but that's my first pipe of the year. Decent. It's not a bad sized fish, but not what we're looking for. Got one drop shot. I haven't caught one drop shot yet this year. day right there. Let's see if he hits the one pound mark. Good fish. Whacked a good one out of this tree right here. I watched it eat it. Didn't know if he still had it. Oh, not that big. I saw its mouth light up and I just couldn't feel it. Finally lifted up into it. We got him good. He's a lot smaller than I thought he was though. Just another pound and a quarter fish. Twenty-one, pretty close. I spooked these fish out of the tree flipping. And I came back by with a wacky worm and I threw it way out past the tree and the fish actually came out and got it. That was pretty cool. They did not want to have anything to do with my flipping in there. for it. Not very big. I saw a stud in there a minute ago. Mm. 
110. I've got three fish for 3.4 pounds. Got a good one out here. I felt it bump it. Gosh, Hunter Danky, this one's for you. It's a giant squawfish. Different species today, that's for sure. Mixing it up. Oh, I thought I had it. Good luck. Got another one down there. Hopefully this one's a bass. Not another squawfish. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Giant brown one. Oh my gosh. Look at her. Dead on three and a half. Oh, I was hoping it was even bigger than that. Look at the belly on her right now. That's a good fish. trees right here I was flipping in them pulled this guy out of there we're gonna get a weight on him real quick I forgot to put the GoPro back up after my last move so we got it back up now plug it into the charger so that we keep having plenty of power also had leeches all over it. One thirty six. That one's fat. Eight twenty six for my limit. I want some more like that small mouth. See if we can make it happen. Flipped one out of that hole just a second ago, it came off. I flipped back into the same hole just because I could. And boom. The one that came off was a dink, but this one's gonna be a culling fish. Nice. I found a new beaver hut I didn't know about. I thought this was just a pile of trees, but the beaver made this thing thick. One eighty, taking out a one oh eight. Up to nine pounds. That was a cool bite, right where that other fish was. I bet you. He's Saw the other one freak out and went over there to see what was going on, and bam, his turn. Let's see if we can get a third one out of the same spot. It's 
never a good thing when you launch a boat at one ramp and pull it out at another ramp. I owe a big thank you to Tim Johnston for towing me back to the ramp and then giving me a ride in his truck all the way back practically to the other end of the reservoir where I launched to pick up my truck and then I was able to drive back and get my boat to the ramp. Delane sat with both boats the whole time. Thank you to her as well. I really appreciate you guys. That was very helpful and I'm going to figure out what was wrong with the boat. Um, I couldn't get it started. I actually walked up to a guy's house right on from the bank and we grabbed an extra battery and I tried to jump it and I still had no juice. Um, we tried to jump it from Tim's boat. No juice. I have two batteries in my boat. I tried to jump it for myself first and no juice. I'm hoping the simplest issue would be that my cranking battery is bad and it would not send juice anywhere. But it was working all day long, so I don't know. Um, Tim's thoughts were either that the starter is bad, which would be the simplest fix um, of his ideas, or I have a piston that's stuck. I have a piston stuck, and that's going to be some bad news for this little guy back there. But we're going to get it home, we're going to tinker a little bit tonight, probably tinker with it tomorrow. If I think I figure it out, I'll put it in the water tomorrow, but I don't know. Not a mechanic, so we'll see what I can figure out. Thanks again, Tim and Delane, for your help. Um, hopefully I fix this and I get back to fishing soon. 